Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can write on your tablet with a stylus or just your finger and do a Google search with it. So let's get to it. So this feature is called Google Handwrite, and all you have to do is pull up a regular Google page on Google Chrome. So right now I have my Nexus 7 tablet running Google Chrome. And to enable this feature, all you have to do is go up to your settings up here, and then go to search settings, and you have an option down here that says Handwrite, enable or disable. I already have it on enable. It'll default to disable, so you're gonna to have to turn this on. So I'm gonna go back here. So here you have your Google search, and obviously you can do a voice to text, or you can bring up your keyboard and type something in, but you can now also write in your search term. And again, you can do this with a stylus or just your finger. Now you'll notice down here there's a G in cursive. You're gonna click on that, and it's going to enable you to just write on your screen anywhere. So let's look up ASUS. There you go, pretty cool. Now you don't need Google Chrome running in order for this to work. As you can see here, I have my iPad 3 and I'm going to bring up Safari. Now I have a Google page brought up here and I'm signed in to my Google account. Now you're going to need a Google account for this to work but again, you're not locked into Google Chrome for this to work. Now I'm gonna go into my settings up here and I'm going to go to search settings and the same situation here. You have handwrite. It defaults to disable. I'm going to enable it and then I'm going to hit save down here. And now you can write anywhere just as it says. As you can see down here, you have your cursive G. You have a backspace button and a space button. So let's look up Nexus. I could put in seven if I want. Put a space and then hit seven. And there you go. Now, as you can see, all you have to do is hit space and then you can keep adding words or if you messed up, you just hit the back button. So it's a cool little feature that you can use through Google on your Android or iOS device. It'll be interesting to see if this will work on Windows 8 tablets when they come out this October. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you wanna help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.